Oh no. So yes, I know that my eyebrows look very dark. I left the tint on too long when I did it myself the other day. So now I have extremely dark eyebrows. Also, I have a new jacket. Got myself a little bit dressed up for this video. Oh, it's kind of cute though, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's cute. I don't know if it goes with a cap though. Maybe not, maybe just black. Yeah, maybe just black. Well, that was a whole thing, wasn't it? Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in last week's video, I did say that I would be doing the best trends of 2020, but I've already done a video like that. And to be fair, I already did a video that's kind of like the last one as well. I just wanted to complain and rant a little bit last week. So for this video, I'm gonna be telling you what trends I think are gonna be big this year, or what trends should be big this year. Because I think that's a lot more helpful to everyone. It's a lot more helpful to me to focus on things going forward and not things in the past. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so that you know when I bring out a new video. And follow me over on Instagram and Twitter as well as at Galax on both. Uh, I'm plugging my Twitter now because I'm really feeling myself on Twitter. Like I've done some funny things lately, so. Um, the list. So now that my promo section is over, um, let's focus on the trends of 2021. Now you guys were really accepting of my trends of my like worst trends of 2020 and agreed with me on a lot of them except for the 70s which was a big like divisive point which is fine like i like i said as well everyone was really nice as well saying that you know it's my opinion which it is and that's their opinion which it is which is fine also i just like to point out that someone just complimented me on instagram by calling me a goblin which is fine apparently i feel like in every trends that i love video i always say oversized tailoring, oversized suits, oversized blazers, and all that kind of stuff. But now in this video, I have a specific vibe, and that is padded shoulders, 80s suits I'm absolutely in love with. I've seen a few jackets that aren't even blazers with padded shoulders in that I'm obsessed with at the moment. I think it's a really strong, cool silhouette to delve into for 2021. Uh, it's powerful, it's strong, it's exhilarating even. Look at me and my adjectives. You know, you could do it in black, you could do it in white, you could do it in like a powder blue or a pastel. I think that'd be really, really cute. The oversized blazer with the shoulders, um, you don't have to match the trousers either. It could, they could just be separate, so you could do. I know in summer, out of the past few summers, I've done an oversized blazer with a pair of shorts that I absolutely love. Um, obviously, girls do that look more often. Sometimes they wear like cycling shorts and stuff like that. I wish they made like a pair of cycling shorts that would you know, not display my whole package every time that I wore them, um, because I probably would rock them with a blazer at some point. Um, but I do love that oversized 80s style blazer at the moment. I think it's gonna be really cool for 2021. And so versatile as well, literally goes with everything. People might like, I remember the first time I wore, my, the second time I went to Coachella, I wore a green misbehaved blazer. I'm gonna put a picture here. Um, and I was with my friend Drew and he was like, you're gonna wear a blazer to Coachella? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, is that not normal? It was not normal. People did not wear blazers to Coachella's, to Coachella's. Um, but I had a great time and I loved it. And I think now people would wear blazers to Coachella, honestly, because now blazers are more of a thing. I guess I was just ahead of the time, which is why you're watching my trend video on YouTube because forecast baby. My next trend is face masks. Obviously the pandemic is still going on. <laughs> We're all like, oh, I'll be over by next year. No, it's still here. Um, and I absolutely hate when I leave the house and all I have is that kind of like blue surgical face mask to use because we have, we bought like a pack of those, but I also really love the plain black surgical ones. I just buy packs from like Amazon. Um, you can get reusable ones. I don't really like the reusable ones um, because I, I'll end up forgetting about it and I'll be leaving the house and I'll be like, oh, I have to wear my dirty reusable mask again, which is probably not hygienic at all. But I think face masks are really important. Help stopping spread the virus from you to anyone else or anyone else to you. So it's just like good for everyone. And you can match it with your outfit. Uh, like I said, I go for the black because I feel like black face, face masks just look really sleek make you feel a bit like a ninja uh, and they just kind of look badass and also now there's no real excuse because a lot of people a lot of brands and a lot of like independent a lot of independent brands making their own face masks uh, like there's so many so many options for you now there's no excuse for it not to complement your outfit really when we're thinking about it next i've been seeing a lot of i would say pastels um but i said pastels last year and that, although there was a lot of pastels um i feel like this new pastel is different to the last pastel i feel like this 
pastel vibe is more like sorbet tones so we're thinking like lemon like pastel lemon like lilac pastel blue um turquoise more like buttery pastels rather than like light airy fairy pastels if you know what i mean something that's a bit more luxurious and premium in the feel and texture i'll put obviously I have pictures of everything you'll have been seeing pictures this whole time but that's what's going on in my head in terms of pastels and obviously these pastels go really well with white they go with they go really well with lots and lots of different skin tones um nudes naturals that kind of thing so they're cute next up now i already have a pair but they're not, I haven't worn them as much as I thought I would. Um, they're literally straight behind me so you can't see them. They are white boots. Now, I really love these boots that I see a lot on a lot of women on Instagram. Um, and I want to translate that to men's. I have these 80s boots, um, but they're very heavy, <laughs> as with all 80s shoes. And I find them hard to fit into my outfits. Like, I find them more difficult to style. Obviously, white boots are difficult to style. Um, but I really like the look of them, and I really want to make them work. And I feel like there is an onslaught of white boots coming. So be ready, you know? You'll notice with this, and with a lot of things that I always talk about, a lot of my inspiration comes from women's wear that I then translate to men's wear. A lot of my inspo for different outfits is pictures of women. So... The next trend is baseball caps. <clears throat> I've always been a fan of baseball caps, mainly for when I don't like my hair. I throw on a cap or a beanie, as you would know. Um, so they're more for practicality, but we saw on a lot of 2021 runways, like Celine, for example, that baseball caps were styled with literally everything. I picked this one up actually from AS Clo. It's Corduroy with the LA sign on. And I actually got it in three different colors just to be ready for my baseball cap era, which is gonna be coming this year. It's preppy, it's really cute. It plays into the whole athleisure kind of athletics vibe that we've been seeing for a long time. And I just think it's really fun. I think baseball caps suit everyone. There is gonna be a certain type of or style of baseball cap that suits everybody's head or face. And it's just a nice accessory. So that was on my list. Next up now, this has been burning up for a while and it is trench coats. Uh, trench coats are kind of a staple item in lots of people's wardrobes from the classics like Burberry trench coats to, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive either. It can be any, any trench coat as long as it looks good. But trench coats are having a huge revival at the moment. Like they've always been a classic piece, but they are now a trend piece as well. You, if you find the right kind of like cut and shape for your body, it can make you look really tall. It can make you look really slender. They're very, very flattering. I just think it's a good option for a lot of people and a lot of body shapes, you know? Anyway, so next on my list was Bomber jackets. Um, I went off bomber jackets a long, long time ago. I feel like they had had their day, they were done, they were left dead in the dirt, and I was fine with that. And then last year, I did pick up a really, really oversized bomber jacket. I'll insert a picture here. And then I just loved like, the vibe of it. I liked how ridiculously large it was and how oversized it was. Um, and I was like, it's always good to have a bomber jacket in your wardrobe, like just in case. And then uh, Mr. Raff, does his show for Prada last weekend and I was shook. We saw the exact same similar oversized bomber jackets. The show felt more raff than it did Prada but I'm okay with that as well, I don't mind. I like the outerwear, the gloves, the accessories and not much else. Um, but the outerwear was on point and we saw even more like oversized, colourful, fun bomber jackets. So I think the revival of bomber jackets is on the up. They're coming back to us in a more sleek, chic kind of way. So I think it's time to get your old bomber jackets out of the closet and style them up in a new way. When I was doing my bits of research for this video, a lot of the pages said neon is coming back and I refuse to believe that. So we're not gonna talk about that. And the last thing is structured bags. Now we all love our little like neck bags. We all love our little crossbody bags. We all love a big tote bag. We love bags basically. But I feel like structured bags are the things to invest in at the moment. I mean, I've always loved a structured bag, a bag that has a strong shape, a cylinder, a box, a rectangle. I sound so stupid talking about this stuff. <laughs> I feel like if Scott could hear me, I'm here like, I like boxes, 
I like cylinders, I like rectangles. Um, or even that I feel like adding a dimensional shape to your outfit, especially if your outfit itself, if the silhouette is like more drapey or more like comfortable looking, you can really juxtapose that with a structured bag in that sense. And I think that's the kind of sweet spot that I like. But that is it for my list of trends that I, you know, love for 2021, or I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, do let me know what you think of the trends in the comments below. Let me know what trends you are gonna be doing in 2021, or if you don't care about trends and you just wanna do your own thing anyway, that's fine as well. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.